Hi there, Stephanie with Stephanie Jewels, and in this quick guide, I'm going to show you how to remove blades from a modified Atlas 180 pasta machine. Now, I want to make it very clear that this only works for a modified pasta machine that you can purchase from edscolors.com. So, with the modified machine that you get from edscolors.com, they actually have these blades right here where you can actually unscrew here and take these out to clean any clay that gets trapped between your blades and your rollers. Now, for those who have worked with um, polymer clay in the past, you know that on any other machine, whether it's a clay conditioning machine or perhaps a basic Atlas machine or any other possible machine out here, that when you are using a, a color, it will get trapped between the rollers and the blades. So if you try to switch colors, like for example, you use a white clay and you start rolling in here and you use a darker clay prior to the white, you will see some of the clay actually transfer into the actual white clay. So with a modified machine, they make it very easier to actually take these apart and clean it. So all you do is, based on the directions, is you first set your knob or your settings here in the machine to zero, which is the widest setting on this particular Atlas 180 machine. And that, based on the instructions that come with the machine, so how to clean, is so that you don't scrape your actual rollers and remove it. So what you do is turn it upside down, and you take one blade out at a time. So I just unscrew this knob right here, and as you can see, it's starting to loosen up. You lift and removes. And I'm gonna move this out the way so you can see. So as you can see right here, there is a little piece of clay that I use on another project or actually another example of how to use the machine trapped here. So you can use anything such as a baby wipe, which is what I use here. So I have some baby wipes here or just any type of soft cloth with alcohol. So I'll take the wipe and carefully clean it because once again, this is a blade. So I'm just kind of holding it at the end here and cleaning this out. So as you can see right here, now that clay that I had on a previous project or anything I was working with will be removed. So when I use a different type of clay, it would not show up on my other clays. Also, this is a perfect time too to actually clean your rollers. You can just clean it here and then clean the top. Now, normally when I clean these rollers, I will have the actual crane to move it. But in just quick guide, I'm just going to show you how to actually remove it and clean it. So once that's clean, I'll put it right back in here carefully. And I have a little groove here. Let me show you real quick. It has a little groove. Let's see if you can see that. A little groove right here where the blade gets pushed in. I'm not sure if I can show that. Right, that little groove right there, that, that actual piece go in there. So I'm just going to push it in here real quick and then screw it right back in. And it's as simple as that. And you will repeat that same process for the other blade. Um, I suggest doing it one at a time so that way you know which way the blades go. Because I mean, it will fit interchangeably into the spots, but the cutter has to go a certain way so that way when you roll your clay in, it actually cuts your actual um, clay off the blade. But that is how you actually will remove your blades to do a cleaning of a modified 180 Atlas machine. Now, once again, this is only for the machine that you get from edscolors.com. Yes, you are able to clean your blades and your rolls off any other standard pasta machine or clay conditioning machine, but I found out it was a little bit harder to do that because I have sliced my finger a little bit trying to get in between the blades and the rollers because there's no way to actually remove these blades. But with edscolors.com, they made it so simple for you to actually remove them and clean it, which is perfect for any person who works with polymer clay. So if you found this information very helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I hope to see you in my next video. Once again, this is Stephanie with Steffi Jewels. As always, you never know what treasures you'll find here at Steffi Jewels.